For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, this problem is much much simpler than what it looks, so let me just explain it to you. The players are used to grip the tube at B, so they're gripping this tube right here. If a force of 20 pounds is applied to the handles, determine the internal share at point C. Assume the jaws of the players exert only normal forces on the tube. So this is what they're telling you. So this section right here, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make it like this is 2B, right? This is little 2B. And you got the jaw right here. And you got the bottom part of the jaw right here. When you look at this problem, you need to remember an important point. There's This is not one assembly, this is two assemblies. In other words, there's two parts to this. And that will simplify all this. There is this part that goes from here, behind here and here, and then there is the part that has C. That being said, when you squeeze these pliers with 20 pounds right here, you create a moment at A the moment at A is equal to zero. So you know that the 20 pound force, this 20 pounds right here, times 10 inches, because that's the distance from the 20 to the 10. Now you might be asking why you're not using two 20 pound forces, because it's two different assemblies. There's one for the this part of the pliers and there is one for the under the other handle of the pliers so you only take account one so this 20 times 10 inches is creating this force minus let's call it the r reaction at b so let's say the top handle is creating a 20 pound force and b is reacting with a force that way which would be this one and that is times the distance between B and the center of A, which is 1.5 inches. So times 1.5 is equal to zero. So the reaction at B is equal to 133 pounds. And the other one is the same thing. The distance is 20 times A, and it has a reaction, but the reaction is the other reaction from B that goes the opposite way. And that reaction is also 133 because everything is the same. 1.5 inches here, 10 inches here, and it's also a 20 pound force on this jaw. So you have the reaction of it to be 133 pounds. And then we're going to use this section right here. This section looks something like this, more or less. This is C. This is a little tube B which has a reaction going up, which is the one we found over here. This reaction at B we found to be 133 pounds. And this C has a normal, a share, and a moment. Another very easy to find. Let's assume this is the X and this is the Y sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero <coughs> so the shares coming down on y and the reactions coming up on y and the sum is equal to zero so the share is equal to 133 pounds sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero the only force in the x is the normal so the normal is equal to zero and Assuming clockwise is positive, sum of the moments at C is equal to zero. So the moment at C minus the moment created by the reaction times one inch, because that's the distance from C to the reaction, is equal to zero. So the moment at C is 133 pounds per inch. That is also why when you see these pliers, it's much thicker in this area than it is in this area. So this is important to note for structural analysis and why this share and moment are important that we're learning. So final answer for the share, final answer for the normal and
final answer for the moment. The moment came out to be positive and the moment is going clockwise. And final answer for the reaction that we needed to find to do all this. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.